Hey YT sisters, it's your girl Tiger here. Um, I know I'm looking a hot mess. And uh, <laughs> I just came at y'all because I want to show y'all a couple of things that um, I got. And something that I'm working on right now as well. Um, I got me this new Avante uh, apartment size dryer. And it was like um, $449. At Finger Hut, so I didn't have to pay the whole thing at one time. So, but anyway, but yeah, um, here it is. Let me show y'all. This is my little uh, apartment size dryer, and it's so cool. It's um, it's so cute. Y'all can see that. Look, <laughs> it ain't even as tall as my deep freezer. Y'all see it? But this little baby from using yesterday, I will tell you that it works really well and it's not loud and look at it. <laughs> That's my dryer. And anyway y'all, I got a lot of videos to upload so y'all might see a whole bunch of them at one time because I've been recording, just ain't really been editing and like doing it like that or whatever. But, um, uh, let me show y'all what I'm working on. Okay, number one. As y'all can see, the pound cake that I had made a couple of days ago is pretty much gone, except for that one piece. Yeah, so Nina, if you want that, you better come get it. And right in here... I have what we call fill peas with snaps and I got them cooking in my slow cooker. Um, if y'all can see this, hold on. Let's see. Y'all can see, 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 see. Those are my fill peas with snaps. And I got ham chunks in there, smoked ham. Yeah, see there. See, there's the snaps. Y'all see the snaps. Mm, the ham chunks and the field peas. Now I ain't gonna lie. When I first had got the field peas, um, I thought they was black eyed peas, <laughs> but they not. But you cook them like they is. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm just gonna let those cook a little bit more and then then I'm gonna put a little like a tablespoon of some flour and some hot water in it to make the juice a little bit thicker like I like my juice. Woo! Those are hot and delicious. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna make like a pan of rice or something to go with that. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I got going on. And also, this roller set <laughs> that's still up under my head is like pent down in several spots because you know the curls was not you know ready. And yeah, so. And now it's all flat, so y'all can't really see it <laughs> until I like pick it out. And I ain't gonna do nothing but pick it out and either wear it into an afro or a high puff, a very defined high puff. So, yeah, you guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just wanted y'all to see my, my field peas with snaps. And um, now I got to figure out what can I cook to go with it. I already know I'm making a, uh, I already know I'm gonna make a, a pan of uh, cornbread because cornbread is always good with some beans and smoked meat. And I think I'm gonna make like a small pot of rice or something because I like rice with my beans and yeah, and the cornbread. But 
It's this new cornbread I want to make. Oh my goodness, y'all. I saw this cornbread. It's called this um, hot and spicy cheesy cornbread. Get the hell out of here. Like, oh my God. I ain't never thought about doing that much with no cornbread. But I think I'm going to need to try it so I can see how it is. Because, you know, field peas, number one, in itself is different for me. I mean, I love me some dry beans, you know. But I never had to fill peas with snaps. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make some cornbread. I don't know if I'm going to make the plain cornbread. Or if I'm going to try and make the hot and spicy or cheesy cornbread. Now I heard of the garlic and cheese biscuits. Like, you know, like they sell like at Ruby Tuesdays and stuff like that. So I imagine that maybe the um, cheesy cornbread might be all right you know but we'll see we'll see we'll see and um yeah y'all so i'll be back peace